Now we have various kinds of electrodes. This is copper, and the other ones are graphene, uh -huh, made with conductive ink. Graphene conductive ink. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's see the ohm of copper. about zero 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 point three excellent <clears throat> this is paper mm -hmm. and graphene is coated Forty eight, forty six, fifty six, fifty about fifty. Really high. And <clears throat> conductive uh, graphene conductive ink, uh -huh, maybe graphene conductive ink is caught sprayed onto the aluminum and you can find that corrosion occurs because of corrosion uh -huh, the surface of gra uh, graphene is not even uh, we can see a lot of craters like a volcano by the way it's ohm is 13 20 12, 11, whom is good? 14, 13, 11, 11. Graphene on aluminum is 11. Mm -hmm. And this is also conductive ink is sprayed onto the plastic. Let's see, which ohm is twenty-four, seventeen, sixteen. Mm, good. <sighs> Graphene on plastic, uh, we can say polymer is a certain. How about this one? Mm -hmm. Very high. Mm -hmm. 27. 20, 19, this is a much bigger one, 40, too high, uh, 11, 13, 13 looks very good, but copper is 0, 0, 0 point City. It means conductive, uh, the ohm of conductive is, uh, conductive ink is really high. How can I decrease its resistance? Uh -huh, to make a battery, my idea is that, like this. Aluminum 
and some material to prevent aluminum being corroded. And then separate or not each on research. Graphene, the other material which has a negative trait and graphene like this. Several layers but these layers will be very thin uh, because it is uh, the work like painting. But ohm is very high, that's the problem. By the way, have a nice day.